Welcome back everybody! Now it's been forever since I've been recording because, well, real life has just been crazy. But I have now returned and we will be playing some Chef today. But before we get started I should tell you that I have bought a new setup with a new microphone and whatnot. And there's a fair to almost certain chance to that at some point something will go wrong with the recording. But we're gonna do our very best to not make that happen. Anyway, Chef is a... it's a cooking game, I guess, but I have not played it myself yet. I have uh, no experience whatsoever, so we're just going to play the game. We will get a nice body ourselves. Um, I don't really know what's good. I, I guess it doesn't matter. You know what? We're gonna go for this kid. And for the hair, I feel like... I have, like, little spikes in front. I wish there was... I wish there was more... Oh, here we go. No, that, that's actually kind of the way I look. This could go. I do not have facial hair. I was, this is also like the form of the face. Well, we're going to go for a triangle kind of face. Uh, my hair color. I am what you could call a stray dog. And oh my god, he's not... This kid isn't white. He's albino. Like, he's, this is not skin color. This is a disease. He's, he's suffering from severe jaundice. Yeah, this is a little bit more. Like, this is this is kind of my expression. Um, <laughs> we could... <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, we could be... We could be a 1980s raver. That, that, that could be, and I could also be a 14-year-old girl that has yet to regret her life decisions. But, oh, I used to have freckles. I used to have freckles when I was a little kid, but thankfully I would groom. Um, I do have, like, crow's feet. Um, but I think they make me look nice in real life. So we're just gonna go, we're, we're gonna go with the normal one and with the expressions. <laughs> he looks like he's seen stuff. He's just straight up seen stuff. <laughs> I gotta tell you, man, they're coming for us. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, so he's just, he looks kind of he's, like he's dead inside, which I somewhat enjoy. I feel like. I feel like I could go for that. Uh, he's he's a nice neutral. He's uh, that's a nice neutral. Since I guess they don't change too much, I guess the neutral works for me. But I like him. He looks simultaneously neutral and still extremely surprised about everything. He looks like I'm not gonna say what I was thinking of. Um, he looks like someone's a, someone's a bit on the emo side. I think we're just gonna go for the for the neutral one. The only question is, you know, we're gonna go for this neutral. And the close call, we're gonna leave white and white and white because we are a chef and we're gonna, we're gonna... That doesn't change anything. The difficulty, there is normal, hardcore, relaxed and sandbox. Um, <laughs> the GDP of a small nation is a budget with no pressure to me. Uh, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna play on normal. I feel like... I feel like normal is the correct difficulty for almost every game. Like, it's how the game is intended to be played, right? Right? So... Yeah, we gotta find ourselves uh, a nice place to start. Now... Okay, so here we see, apparently, what kind of people are coming. The kind of district it is. And the kind of restaurants available. And Okay, and they all have different sizes. Now, I don't think I want to go too big of a restaurant to begin with, just because we probably don't have the cash to to get it in. Like, may maybe maybe get a small, cozy place, sell some high-quality food, you know what I mean? Get, get that that one... The, the one lasagna per day out, which, is, which costs enough to carry the restaurant for the rest of the week, something like that. Like, just a cozy little place. But I want it to be a co cozy, awesome place. Stealthy insects. <laughs> yeah, I don't really want insects in my restaurant. I'd, I'd, I'd prefer a place without insects. Um, there's a lot of cheapskates here. Cheapskates' expectations are low. But their budget is even lower. Um, <laughs> the perfect customer. Natural preserve. Oh. Yeah, we could actually go into the green, but the problem with the green is like people need to actually drive to us. So we are we ain't gonna be selling any booze, right? Um, commercial district. A restaurant in a commercial district probably wouldn't be the worst idea ever. That sounds like something you could make money with. And there's a fair amount of cheese skates and lower class families, which if you combine them gives you quite a bit. Uh, but it's a bad neighborhood, everybody. It's a bad neighborhood. Let's not go here. <laughs> Screaming guy. 
Well, how how is this location? Ah, uh, you know, it's 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 a good location. It's close to the school. There's there's a few parks in the area. Oh, and there's that screaming guy over there. And apparently that makes the area super attractive. Um. Oh, he's a local celebrity. Okay, okay. And thriving dip business, and it's huge. And there's a bazillion blue collar workers. But it is kind of, it's kind of on the expensive side, the rent. I feel like this is a large kids it's a massive hall. I feel like this is more of an upgrade, but it is a great place to be. But I think I want to be under one three. Like sound like this, medium kitchen, small hall. I think I'd prefer it the other way around. I don't know. Small kitchen, very large hall. Okay, I'm gonna go by the pots and pans, and I'm gonna say, like, there's two seatings for people and two for cooking. Which probably works, right? And it's kind of cheap. Oh, but it's a decrepit building. Do we really want to start off in a decrepit building? Street gangs. <laughs> Do they eat? No. No one wants to eat where the street gangs are. I I, I wish you we could be, like, a, a gang place, you know? Like, the gangs just come over. And they go, um, they, they, they have like their favorite gang food that you need to always cook perfectly. But as long as you perfectly cook it, uh, all's good. Um, okay, okay. This is really expensive. Actually, looking at what the other places cost, I don't think that the place we looked at before was a bad place. The one for 1.3. The only problem was that it was so huge. And I don't know if I can furnish, like, a huge area. You know what I mean? Like, can, can you really furnish a huge place in the beginning? I don't know. I don't know. We could just go medium kitchen, medium hall, 1,000. How about that? And it's right, it's right in the business district. I don't know. A thousand seems a lot. Yeah, see, there's there's places. Okay, this is a small hole. I don't think I want a small hole. I want at least a medium hole. But a yeah, medium kitchen, medium hole, 600. And a bazillion lower class families. Let's go right here, everybody. Let's confirm that. I just want to go somewhere at this point, if I'm being honest. I feel like I've uh, spent too much time looking at different places. Welcome to the world of cooking professionals. The time has come to set up your restaurant. Prepare yourself for a journey of endless shifts and on customers and pros uh, preposterous fixation. I work in healthcare and that is definitely my job description. You better start by furnishing your place with a few tools and tables. You don't want people to eat frozen food off the floor, don't you? Well, you know, fr there's a lot of good frozen food, like ice cream. And I feel like it can be eaten on the floor. You just have to make the floor comfy. Anyway, let's do this. Uh, remember, me, 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 me. This is, this is too much reading, everybody. I just want to sell some pizza. So, I don't, I don't know what decision I just clicked on. This is the furnishing screen. Yes. I, <laughs> I did read what I have to do. Let, let's furnish our kitchen. We are gonna need some counters, I think. Oh, okay. Good. The counters in place and uh, on counters your chefs will handle more preparation and they will put them in the cooking tool they require. Let's now place a cooker. All right. Let's place this cooker here. And that's two. What's the difference? Cooking slot six or ten? Wait. So this is way better. It costs less. It costs less. It has almost twice as many cooking slots. However, it does that. And it's cheaper. Yeah, we'll buy it. We need also six tables. How do you put, cook six things on that then? I'm I'm confused. I do want an oven too. Oh, and a fryer. Yeah, we need a fryer, everybody. But yeah, let's let's get an oven for now. Let's get a fryer so we can make some fries. French fries. Because, you know, you got to have a side dish with your meal. Okay, and let's put another one here. So, basically, we can have two chefs working at once. By the way, if this is a medium-sized kitchen, like, what's a large kitchen and what will you ever need it for? Like, I could probably build stations for, like, ten different chefs in this. I'm, I'm excited to see where this will go. Um, 
Oh, we probably do need a fridge, though. I feel like we need a fridge. And probably shouldn't be too far. You know what? I'm going to put it on the other side of this. I'm actually going to put it right behind it. They can still walk through it. And then I can build something else here. I feel like this is close enough. Probably I can even put it closer. And, and a microwave. Ah, we're going to be cooking for lower class families and for cheap skates and stuff. So I feel like a microwave ain't going to ruin it. Now I realize this looks... You know what? This does look terrible. Let's not do it like that right now. We're, we're going to do it once we do need the space. Like I assume the game's going to make us need a lot of space in the future. And then we're going to do it like that. When I can also build on the backside. But I think for now this actually works quite well. We don't need any more. There's tables. There's a few different types of tables. I do like double tables like this. Oh, I guess the green is where the waiter's gonna stand? Question mark? We're gonna... I, I like the round table. Get it? Like King Arthur. Uh, let's place it right here. I hope they can reach it. I don't, I don't know how the game handles walking. I hope they can reach it. Um... I feel like I want to fill it up with this. <laughs> you know what we're going to do? We're going to do that. Do they actually fit? I think it fits exactly four tables in a row. Well, I, I'm going to try. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do it like that. And actually, I want you to also come from that side. Yeah, that's going to work for me. It doesn't look perfect, though. You know what? Put them all together so it looks nicer. Mm, then we could add something. Oh, God, I need six tables, it said, right? Could I have gotten one of these in here if I pushed it? No, I couldn't. I couldn't. I don't feel like you can properly... You can really combine them. We're going to add more tables, though. I feel like I want to add more tables, but I want it to be aligned. So... Like that. Um. Okay, it's hard to make money in the beginning. Oops. Uh, once you've placed some items, you can easily move your mouse. Okay. We're not in a restaurant to learn cheap skates. But why would why I don't want to focus on cheap skates. I want to be a cheap restaurant. I said I want to I want to produce high quality kind of stuff. But I guess the game wants me to go for cheap skates first. So we're going to we're going to play fill up the place. Okay? This is this is we're basically a fast food chain at this point. Oh, I, I do have quite some money and they're not that expensive. You know what? We're, we're going to play some more. We're going to play some more. Do it like that. I think that's the middle of it. But I don't really want... No, 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 no. I have I have decided against it now. And I think I want to leave, like, a little spot so my waiters can walk through there. So we're going to do it something like this. And uh, now we've basically gotten, like, maximum capacity. Like, I want the waiters to be able to walk through here and I want the customers to be able to walk everywhere. So I think this is hopefully going to work. Again, I don't know how the pathing works for the customers and stuff. This could end in absolute tragedy. Um, there's not a whole lot of decorations, though. Like, we don't really... Okay. It says ambience, modern, elegant, rustic mode. What do I need, though? Like, what do che cheapskates I need to make happy, right? Um... Okay. It doesn't say what they want. We're gonna play this place here. Just... Be here. Ambience rustic. A simple style reminiscent of rural countryside and home cooked meals. Is that what cheapskates like? Oh, I was hope. Wait. Can I not? Let me press some buttons here. Can I not put that on top of like a table? I feel like I want to put it on top of the table. This is modern. Me. Nee. That, it doesn't fit. This is also modern. This is elegant. Play some... I, I feel like we should stick to one. Do we... Okay, they like rustic. They like rustic. They hate rustic. They don't care about rustic. Okay, I, I get how it works. So I also want to get at least some lower class families in. We're gonna try. 
Okay, I only see it. I only see it if I've placed at least one of the styles. So we're gonna place one of every style. So I can see we're gonna place an elegant thing. Rustic, modern, rustic. Uh rustic, rustic, modern, 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 modern. Okay, there only really is modern and rustic, right? And elegant with all. Modern, rustic, elegant. So the cheap scale is really like rustic. They don't care about modern and they hate elegant. And the lower class family loves it elegant. They don't really care about rustic and they hate modern. So we don't really want modern. We kind of want rustic and elegant. These two kind of are exclusive to each other, aren't they? Because to, to make the lower class happy, I'm going to need elegant. But that's going to make the cheapskates unhappy. We can try if we get a, enough modern. If maybe they still like it. Oh, wait. I think if they dislike it, they don't actually dislike it. It just doesn't count at all to their happiness. That would make it way easier. Like, then I could just basically spam pictures. Like, let, let's try. If I get a lot of modern pictures, right? Like, they still get happiness from it. Okay. Let's try. They hate... They like elegant, they hate modern. Let's find elegant pictures. We got elegant pictures right here, right? Uh, we're gonna spam them. A picture for every wall, everybody. Do they hate it now? They love it. The lower class family, they go like this is the place to go. And they don't really care. It doesn't give me minus. Okay, so it just means that if you build modern, the cheapskates like it a little bit. And they, like the more modern stuff I put in, the happier they get. If I put in rustic stuff, they just go wing. And if I put in elegant stuff, they don't care. Like I can build a bazillion elegant things and they could not care less. With the, knowing that, knowing that it becomes very easy to furnish this thing. We're gonna need some rustic things. Oh, we're gonna go for some plants, everybody. I feel like there needs to be plants at the entrance. It, when you enter a restaurant, you want them to show you they are capable of living, uh, of leaving things alive, right? Uh, sign off and they will come to the restaurant. Doesn't mean that they will be happy. Okay, let's go to the menu panel. It's time to choose recipes. I, I agree. Let us let us choose recipes. Recipe editor, menu, menu. It's time to fill your menu with recipes. Without a decent offer, people won't come to your place and buy several recipes with the same tag to your menu. You can activate special menu perks. All right. So basically, if I put in all the pastas, we become a pasta place. Is that what it means? Yeah. We got appetizers, main courses, salads, soups, side dishes. Okay, we need at least one side dish. Ah, it's both as potato, right? They're both potatoes. Vegetables, vegetables, healthy, vegan, vegetarian. Roast potatoes are healthy. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going to put it on my, di uh, 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 on my dietary menu. Okay, the apple pie only needs a counter. A pie only needs a counter. It doesn't need an oven or anything else. Why? Is it store-bought? The only way a pie only needs a counter is if it's store-bought. Banana bread with honey, butter cookies, and chocolate chip cookies. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some chocolate chip cookies in there. Cheap blonde beer, discount cola, discount soda, and mysterious blonde beer. <laughs> I, I, um, it changed your attractiveness. Oh, okay, okay. On the right, I'm attractive. Okay, um, okay, okay, right now, only cheapskates will ever come, only they will ever come, and all I need to put in to make them super happy is I need to sell cola, like, as long as you sell cola, they go like, yeah, that's, that's, that's definitely the place for us, you know what, I'm gonna put in all the drinks, I feel like four drinks, <laughs> I need the mysterious beer in there anyway, um, we do have a dessert. 
We do have both side dishes. I feel like there needs to be at least two side dishes. I wish there was chicken soup. I feel like the best soup ever is chicken soup, and then there needs to be a vegetarian soup for the one for the vegetarians, and then every other soup uh, soup past those two. That's that's if you uh, that, that's extravagance. But those two, they need to be on there. We're gonna put in the tomato soup though. And I do like myself some mussel soup, but I know it's an acquired taste. There's like I don't know anyone but myself that likes mussel soup. So I'm gonna put it on. Turkey salad. Um I mean I like a Caesar salad, which goes in the same direction, right? Like there's a little bit of chicken on a Caesar salad. We're gonna just put on a light salad, you know, it's for the healthy people. And then the main courses. Yeah. Um, where do I see who likes what? Like they want cheap food, right? So that should be the main thing. I feel like I feel like we need to get some pasta in there, right? We're gonna put in some uh, fettuccine. Um, how can I help people? Open the staff panel. We'll do that later. Right now, I want to put in more than one actual dish. Uh, we're gonna put in the fettuccine, the bas uh, butter pasta, the Italian tomato pasta, and. Um, we have the normal Italian tomato pasta. I'm gonna put in the normal one. It feels weird to have two tomato recipes because that goes like we didn't decide which one is actually good. I want to put in a grilled steak though. It's interesting that the grilled steak needs a grill, but the steak and potatoes doesn't need a grill. I'm just saying. Uh, I don't know why you would put a chicken breast in the oven. <laughs> That's so random. Uh, we're gonna put in a chicken breast, a- Oh, I can't even put it in. The steak and potatoes. And a roast turkey. Look, we, we got it all. We got it all going, everybody. Is that like a- Is there any reason so far why I shouldn't put stuff in? Like, do I need to buy the ingredients and they go bad? Because otherwise, I'm just gonna put in everything. You know, be one of those restaurants with like 200 dishes, but you know they can't be making a single one of them fresh. Because because they have so many. Like if you have two, if you go to a restaurant and there's 200 dishes, none of them are made fresh, right? Okay, we're gonna have to hire some staff. Here we are, the staff panel. Now you can review your staff and hire new people. Some candidates have higher wages, but will also be more skilled. I don't think that skill and wa wage in real life are necessarily um, connected. TJ, the chef. Zimena, a chef. Nika, the chef. Jack, the waiter. Amina, the waiter, and Gabriel, the waiter. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the waiter, Gabriel. I like the name. And for the chef, I can't, I kind of want to get TJ. I feel like TJ is the kind of name a chef in a low-class restaurant would have. I don't know. It, it just fits. If it's, I kind of want to hire Nika because Nika is an epic, epic name. But I think TJ wins this. Um, I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna hire TJ. I'm sorry, Nika. I re I really like you. I really like you, Nika. But I think we're gonna let you let you go for now. And so we have people. I hired two waiters. Oh, I need two. I'm gonna get Jack. Yeah, we're gonna get Jack. I just ha realized I only hired guys. Guys, that is that has it has nothing to d say that I only hired guys. You now need to open your new restaurant. To do that, head to the policies and decisions panel, just like it happened with the other panel. You can find the button to open it on the lower left area of the screen. All right. Policies and decisions. Okay, now I can see there's a to open the restaurant. Um, skip the tutorial and open the restaurant. I gotta skip the tutorial for now. I feel like we could still learn something. So what do I need to do now? Should I like unpause it? Oh, uh, what are we doing? Are we are we rich yet? Uh, I like him. He's. He's standing like that. That's Jack, right? Yeah, it's Jack. He's just waiting at the entrance. Like he's he can't wait to get a customer to serve. Whereas Gabriel, he's hiding in the corner. Do they have like traits? I don't think they do. I don't think they actually do. They just have a skill level. Nine. We don't get any customers though, which is kind of uncool. 
I'm gonna increase the speed, I think. And I wanna increase the attractiveness to get blue colors in. Like, I feel like we need to increase the... Actually, not blue colors, it was low-class family. They right now won't come, because we don't have the furniture for it. Low-class family wants elegant. So we're gonna build more elegant... Stuff, right? I want to buy enough elegant stuff that they would come. There's like a minimum we need to reach. And I'm just going to do it with pictures. They're going to come for the pictures. You know, come for the pictures, stay for the food. I think I put it on the outside of my restaurant. Which I would argue is not the worst way to handle it. Um, you can't put it there though. Okay, they can come now, which is good. Please tell me what you want. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Sorry, I, c I couldn't help myself. I tried. I really tried. He just, he took the order, but he didn't take it anywhere. He's now standing here with the order. That guy, he's still melted into the furniture. Okay, he's going. He's now writing it down. I wonder what they're going for. I bet they're going for the fettuccine Alfredo. It's what I would have so. Uh, it's what I would have ordered. Light salad and Italian pasta. A light salad and a butter pasta. An Italian tomato pasta. Oh, I probably need to get an appetizer in there, so people order appetizers. You know what? Quiche Lorraine is pretty sweet. This sounds more like it fits though, as does the tortilla. But I don't appear to need to buy anything, so I might as well just, you know, add everything, right? Like, what's the downside of me doing this? There doesn't appear to be a downside to this. Actually, they like it less. Now the overall offer is really healthy. I'm sorry, it's too healthy for you. I'm gonna add some pies and stuff, okay? Okay, we've now just added everything. We've we've stopped pretending like it matters. We're gonna see what happens. Okay, he's making the food. Oh, it's actually me making the food. What am I paying you for? Okay. I'm making two foods, but why am I only making two? There's clearly three foods ordered. Okay, he's taking it. And he's taking it from here. That actually, I kind of like that. I wish my guy would do more though. Like the animation is really lacking. He needed to take it and put it on here. And then the waiter would take it from there. That's, it's not much animation. But that, it feels like a must. Like, did the waiter really take the food straight off the stove? Is that what just happened? Okay, so we really have one waiter who just seats the people. And then we have one that actually takes the orders and stuff. Am I seeing that correctly? Okay, the two of us are cooking. Am I always a cook or can I also be a waiter? I think I'm always a cook. Yeah, I think, I think I'm a cook by profession. He immediately took the bill. Really? We really are a cheapskate restaurant where, where he puts down the pasta and he goes like, yeah, that's 550, brother. So that you got a review on Chef Advisor, the most important bottle dedicated to restaurants. <laughs> really? Let's go read it. You'll find its button in the uh, lower left part of the screen. Alright. Um, character panel, furnishing, stuff, menu, ingredients, Chef Advisor. All right. Yeah, what, what do I do? Uh, <laughs> I'll be eating here again. And that's not too bad. She, she liked the average. Oh, no. She rated it three. Okay, she didn't say what she liked. Okay, she, she liked it like that. She thought the ambience was disgusting. But other than that, my prices were out of this world. That probably means I'm too cheap. And the food and the service was good. Am I too cheap? I feel like I might be too cheap. Also, I don't want to be paused. Let's play it. 
Can you please not be paused? I can see many steps we're going to restaurant. Search for the button opening the people's tab. Um. Okay. Oh, I get it. Okay, I need to put meat on the menu, and I need to put carbs on the menu. Uh, they don't like vegetarian or vegan dishes. All right. And the cheapskates also like carbs. They don't like desserts, though. But I can combine those two. Like, I can put tons of carbs and meat on the menu. Just stay away from the veggies, right? Seems fair enough. Let's do that. Let's look at our menu here. And take off everything that isn't... That is a healthy... Like this. It's healthy, it's vegan, vegetarian. Take it off. Same with this. This is dairy and heavyweight. I'm gonna leave it on just so they can order a three, uh, three course menu. Uh, the fettuccine Alfredo. I'm, go I'm gonna keep them on. Because it's carbs, right? Yeah, it's carbs, 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 meat, meat, meat. Unfortunately, this meat all is with vegetables, but that's okay. Um, it's fried rice with prawns. It's it's got carbs, so I'm gonna keep it on. Vegetables, cheese, and heavyweight. I don't really need you, I think. This is carbs. I'm gonna keep it, and I'm gonna get rid of the cod. And getting rid of the lights out. Though it was ordered already twice, but apparently it's something no one likes. This so I'm gonna take it off, and then I'm gonna take off the cod salad as well. And the soups are all really healthy, but I kind of want to have a soup. I kind of want to have a soup so they can order multiple dishes. You know, I want them to order uh, so, some, a little bit of everything, you know? I'm going to keep at least one of the soups, but I can see why they wouldn't like it. Ah, we're going to leave it like that. You know what? We're just leaving it like this. Let's see what let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this was the first episode of this game. Well, I had a little bit over half an hour, so I'm gonna make a quick cut here. Um, let me know if you would like to see any more of this game. It. It does seem kind of nice. I wish there was a little bit more animation. And so far, it also doesn't seem like it's particularly hard to get your head around. Like, so far, it seems like an incredibly easy game. Now, I've played the Pizza Tycoon is, uh, um, and games like that. And they've been so much harder than this. Um, but we'll see. If we make no money, I'm, I might take that back. But so far, it seems okay. Uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'm going to see you guys on the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye.